So the today's project is gonna be hopefully pretty simple. The goal is to remove this heater. There's supposed to be two valves that you use to cut off the feed line and the return line. And so far I can only find one of them. And I went to a local school bus repair shop and got some pretty good information, but still didn't quite get any information I need to see about fixing this. So I'm just gonna start taking all these covers off, kind of see what I can learn in the process. It shouldn't be too difficult. I'm on the bus now. This is the only valve that I can find so far. And there's supposed to be another one. I think this is the feed line because it comes straight off the radiator. I don't know, so we're about to figure this out together. I'm pretty sure all I need right now is some Phillips head screws. This should be pretty simple in theory, but I've been wrong before. <laughs> couldn't find the other valve. I found one and I'm not sure, I don't know if it turns off the one that's going out or the one that's coming in. Not only that, but I'm not sure what diameter this hose is. It looks like it's, the fitting would be like a one inch. I cannot find a one inch that is rated for this temperature, which would be about 180 to 200 degrees, I would assume. I found a brass fitting that is one inch. It looks a little too small. I don't know yet. I'm gonna try to disconnect the heater. <laughs> to in any way, shape, or form. I spent way too much time going to the store, trying to find the right elbows for the uh, to, for the refeed. They're not one inch, they're probably like one and a quarter, maybe one and a half inch. But I was able to actually use one that I salvaged from the heater itself. So the way it works is, at least to my in my mind, it's got two hoses, one big loop. So what we essentially did is just took out one section of the loop, disconnected the rear heater. So now the loop is like this, and now it's probably like this. So what I mean by that is, instead of going from the block to the rear heater to the front heater, back to the block, now it goes from the block to the front heater, back to the block. Correct me if I'm wrong. I was trying to get the right fitting so it fed as smoothly as possible, because even though we might not use it that often, it's designed to do a purpose, and I want to keep, I want to keep it in its functioning form. <laughs> so all you parents out there, holding in a sneeze is a difficult task, and to actually sneeze and make it audible is quite the luxury now. What I did was I refed one of the elbows from the front heater that went to the back heater and I used one of those to feed the loop back. So here, let me show you. So that bracket before fed from here and fed down back into there. So now I just re reused it, linked it from the bottom hose that ran all the way back. It fed all the way back again and then connected to the bottom of the driver heater. So now that loops back around all the way through. So now it goes from the front of the engine block all the way through to the driver heater, does its job heating up, back through, goes back down and then into the block. I hope that makes sense. I tried to do it as speedy as possible, that way I didn't lose any coolant. Come to find out there is not actually a coolant reservoir inside these. As, as far as like a separate, you have your radiator cap which is in the front and then you've got this little tank to the side. So that's, I guess, the reservoir, but you just fill it up at the radiator cap itself. There's not a second reservoir to fill up. 
like there is in our automobiles. So if you have any questions, shoot me a message, leave me a comment. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys. Like it if you like it, dislike it if you don't like it, and if you could, subscribe, and we'll keep doing this thing. Appreciate you guys. Look at this mess. I wonder how much weight I've saved so far by just getting all this crap out of here. I'd say probably like 400 pounds. Well, yeah.